I think it's a work of art as far as I'm concerned. Some people think it's not, but it is. You look at it yourself, what do you think? It's not a joke. Pierogi, come see. Glendon's pierogi, all a dumpling can be. Well, it has brought up our sales. Glendon, Alberta, population 480. It's so small, Mayor Johnny Denanko also drives a school bus. The village council figured we must have a tourist attraction because small towns like ours are falling along the wayside in Alberta and we have to have a special attraction to draw people in. At first in pierogi stands Glendon's answer to the Eiffel Tower. The fork, I think, added quite a bit to it. Other foods were considered. Big sausage, you know, but, uh, and then a cabbage roll. <laughs> If they have a wedding or have a party or have a New Year's ball or something, there's usually a plate of pierogies goes with it. A lot of dough went into this fiberglass entree, $62,000 to be exact, but there were some dumpling dissenters who tried stirring the pot. Some people come up with the idea of a swimming pool, a tennis court, uh, a statue of dancing girls, uh, things like that, but that one's a drawn tourist. You've got to have something that's... Uh, that's out of the extraordinary. Our best uh, seller in pierogies is the cheddar cheese. There's cheese, potato, and sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, not so much. So much more for people to talk about. The culinary mascot inspired mechanic Walt Chisosky to write this tribute. The idea came right from here for the pierogi song. The idea came right from here in the shop, but I wrote it at home and recorded out in the trailer at 11 o'clock at night, so <laughs> it was a fast job. Many like the orange rocks, say they're a nice touch, like bacon bits. Bacon bits. To paraphrase an old saying, Glendon, Alberta hopes that the way to a tourist's heart is through his or her stomach. Your order's ready. Ray Rudowski, ITV News. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of pierogi to eat there. In Glendon, the pierogi capital.